This crash will alter a generation, according to Michael Burry. Michael Burry, the famed hedge fund manager who foresaw the 2008 housing market catastrophe, is now announcing the impending arrival of a much more severe financial crisis. Burry claimed that the next recession will be worse than 2008 and will alter an entire generation in an interview with Business Insider. Derived from the proverb, when it rains, it pours. It says that, whenever a good or evil thing happens, another good or horrible thing also happens. An economic decline has been ongoing since the beginning of 2022, driven primarily by the stock market. I'll discuss what made Michael Burry so certain about the impending financial crisis and how you can protect yourself and family from taking on any risks that would cost you your savings. Let's discuss why he believes this next recession approaching will transform a generation. We are all familiar with the Great Recession, sometimes referred to as the 2008 financial crisis. The incident served as a wake-up call that not everything can go as planned and that we should always be ready for the worse. While a financial crisis can be a terrible moment for normal people, it is also a terrific time for professional investors, according to a comment from American investor Robert Kiyosaki. On the plus side, this remark is entirely accurate. A recent example is the COVID-19 pandemic, where some people benefited significantly while many others suffered greatly. Elon Musk serves as a good illustration in this regard, having surpassed Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos to become the richest person on Earth. Burry, who was born in 1972, started out as a pathologist and then neurology resident at Stanford Hospital. He then made the switch to managing hedge funds and started concentrating on making investments in troubled businesses that had a lot of potential or value growth. Burry was present when the 2000.com bubble broke and the 9-11 attacks had an impact on the economy of the United States, which was already experiencing a moderate recession. Burry recently asserted that an apocalyptic crash in the stock market, cryptocurrency market, and other asset prices is imminent. But when will these occur is the real question. Do you fervently concur with Burry's bold assertions? Comment below and let us know. Burry has made assertions of this magnitude before. He has foreseen a comparable circumstance in the past, which ultimately transpired. But I'm confident that neither you nor I would want it to happen because we are both aware of the potential repercussions. Burry shut down his website, where he had always offered investment advice, in the year 2000. He later founded Scion Capital, a hedge fund, and within four years was already overseeing a staggering $600 million. He eventually had to turn down money from new clients, forcing him to concentrate more on the investment deals he had with his existing clientele. It might be challenging for many people to launch their own business. Do you want to learn how to launch the business you've always wanted to? If so, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed to Pickup Finance, hit that subscribe button now and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss the best videos that we upload. Let's get back to it. Burry has always been passionate about starting his own investment firm, and he put a lot of effort into his studies to get there. The majority of his studies were what enabled him to choose wisely among his investments and drew more people to join him. Burry's high level of intelligence allowed him to foresee danger because of this. This caused him to constantly alter his investing strategy whenever such a thing was going to happen. Some of Burry's clients withdrew their invested funds because they disapproved of his decision to short the market as a result of his analysis showing that subprime mortgages and linked bonds were likely to lose value. They didn't have the same level of foresight as him, therefore it wasn't their fault. However, Burry and the investors who put their faith in him both stood to win significantly over the long term from his prognosis. This demonstrates how, at certain points in life, being willing to take a chance that other people don't support can truly change your course. Due to his predictions, Burry is now a well-known figure on a global scale. Many people follow him on social media, and they are eager to see his updates. Michael Burry is a fantastic illustration of the value of investigation and due diligence. Before making his trusty investment, he spent months poring over data and researching the subprime mortgage industry. In the end, this thorough planning and analysis paid off handsomely. You shouldn't be surprised by Burry's newly removed tweet from September about the crypto market, meme market, and SPAC crash. 
you can also build on this and re-examine your decisions. If any of these worsen, so as to avoid breaking any kind of laws. You might believe that the economy isn't deteriorating enough to bring on a deeper recession, but given the various situations that are taking place, you could be mistaken. You must exercise prudence in light of the S and AMP wing with tongue sticking out 500 indexes sharp decline. Investing in businesses that will likely be less impacted by a market collapse is one approach to keep safe. Diversifying your portfolio is another approach to keep yourself safe. This entails making investments across a wide range of different asset types, including bonds, property, and cash. You may reduce your risk and shield your portfolio from losses by diversifying. Many individuals believe that the 2008 stock market crash signaled the end of an era, but as we all now realize, that wasn't anywhere close to being the case. The Great Recession barely registered on the market's radar. Additionally, future booms and collapses will be even more stunning. Burry's prediction of a deteriorating collapse is highly likely given that the price of Bitcoin has decreased 66% from its peak in November 2021, when it was at $65,000, to as low as $19,000 as of October 2022. Now it's up to them to be extremely cautious with any investments they make, so be diversified and don't put all your eggs in one basket. Burry cited a variety of elements, such as excessive debt, inflated asset values, and investor complacency, that he believes are preparing the market for another significant drop. He advised people to start getting ready for the next crash right away, saying that it might happen sooner than anyone anticipates. Burry compared the current state of affairs with the levels in December 2007, and based on his analysis, we are undoubtedly in a mess. Burry compared the current financial crisis to a crowded theater with a tiny escape. Investors either crush on others as they hastily exit the market, or be trod upon. Various steps are being taken by other nations to attempt and slow the dollar's appreciation versus their own currencies. While others are allowing their currency to float more freely, some are engaging in the foreign exchange market to sell dollars and buy their own currencies. To make their currencies more appealing to investors, some nations are also increasing interest rates. The value of the pound recently hit a historic low versus the US dollar, falling to 1.1407. The last time this occurred was on February 26, 1985. One of the economists who has supported Burry's assertion regarding the impending great crash is Greg Jensen, co-chief investor of Bridgewater Associates. Jensen asserts that it is essentially impossible for prices to return to what they were before to the COVID-19 epidemic. Burry maintains that despite the recent decline and devastating crash, we have not yet reached the bottom. How plausible is this? If a more catastrophic catastrophe than what has already occurred is still on the horizon, we will undoubtedly experience a crisis worse than the Great Depression. The recovery from COVID-19, high inflation rates, the Terra Luna crash, the Russian-Ukraine war, and supply chain concerns were some of the causes that contributed to the crypto crash, which saw a sharp decline in price starting in May. These factors collectively resulted in less demand for cryptocurrencies and lower pricing. Many people had made significant investments in cryptocurrencies in the intention of making a rapid profit, which worsened the crisis. And when the prices started to drop, they started to sell off their holdings, which caused the prices to drop even further. What does this market fall actually mean, given everything that has been said? An abrupt and significant drop in asset prices is known as a market collapse. It often occurs during a period of panic selling and can significantly affect the economy. Any asset market can experience a market crash, although the stock market is the one most frequently linked to it. Typically, a sudden, unanticipated occurrence that makes investors lose faith in the market's prospects for the future sets off a market crash. This may cause investors to quickly and dramatically sell off their holdings in an effort to get their money out before values fall even more. Market declines can have a negative impact on the economy by causing consumers and businesses to spend less money, leading to job losses and business closures. They can also cause a loss of confidence in the financial system. However, when a bubble pops, the value of the asset plummets, frequently resulting in generalized economic pandemonium. When a financial bubble bursts, investors are often the ones who suffer the most. 
This is due to the fact that they frequently have substantial sums of cash invested in the asset that has decreased in value. However, non-investors may also be impacted because a financial bubble burst can result in job losses, salary reductions, and a decline in consumer spending. With the lengthy short film concluding with the perplexing remark that Michael Burry is only interested in one good, namely water, this statement shouldn't cause you to ponder too hard. Simply letting you know what Michael Burry has been up to and how you might incorporate his trading strategies into your own is an eye-opener. How is investing in water even conceivable, you might ask? Particularly in light of the trading of commodities like oil and gold on the futures market? Well, this shouldn't come as a surprise. Similarly, water has only recently entered the trade market. If you don't take action right away, you can end up being one of the numerous people who were unaware of the recent change. The American founding father Benjamin Franklin reportedly remarked that when the well is dry, we appreciate the worth of water. Burry's warnings ought to be taken carefully because he consistently predicts significant changes in the market. He accurately predicted the collapse of the housing market, and he is now announcing that the next crash will be far worse. Investors need to be ready for the financial crisis that is currently occurring. Look around our channel to see if there's anything else you may enjoy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.